Valerie Zeller. I'm from Ohio, Columbus. Columbus? But okay. I lived in like all over the country growing up, mostly in Florida and then in Las Vegas for about, off and on for about five to 10 years. Echo Park for about three months. I've lived everywhere, but no, Echo Park was just somewhere. Someone told me where, oh, actually Henry told me, my fiance told me we could come and they would take care of us, like, you know, give us food and tents and whatnot. Cause we were, I was gonna live on the street. Yeah. I was gonna live on the street. I was going back to Las Vegas, but my sister and my family kind of uh, left me hanging um, because they just didn't want to help me when I needed help. And I've always helped them, which is really shitty, but whatever. <laughs> what do you do? Family, you know how that goes. Yeah, the whole, the whole time, right. right over there. And we gotcha. grew from a small tent to a bigger tent to a bigger tent. And they do, like I said, hunting at night so that we can like, they, they can get like designer clothes and bags and things like that that we can sell that isn't given out here in the park. You know, not to people here, but to people in the real world who will buy a designer bag for 20 bucks. So they yeah. would have to pay $500 for it. So it's like, with a, you know, with a little snag or something, whatever. So do you go hunting? No, I don't go hunting. Okay. I want to go hunting, but the men mm -hmm. think that I should stay home like the nice women should. Average day is I wake up around 6 o'clock, 6.30. I come and feed the ducks. I, I always get the trash together the night before around the park, so I do some cleaning of the park in my section. Um, I, so I go around, pick up trash. I, I need to get a grabber because my back's starting to kill me. I'm getting old. Um, but yeah, I, so typically I do that for about an hour, feed the ducks, the bread from the church or whatever, and then, um, and then I start to do stuff around the house, um, cook, you know, get, get coffee together for the morning, get the guys up for their, they go, they post, you know, signs, you know, saying, you know, we're homeless. My, my uh, future husband is an um, army vet and his benefits are all screwed up, paperwork because of COVID. And so that's why his, his issues are bad. And uh, he's got, well, he's got lawyers, you know, looking into that for mm -hmm. him, so. Right. And me, I ran out of all my benefits with, I didn't get the freaking stimulus because I just didn't, I should have. I know that's a lot of money and it would have helped, but at the time I was going through a lot of shit. Just, I, you know, I never planned to live out in the open. <laughs> I yeah. planned on just going to Las Vegas and being normal. This is all new, you know? This, I just think of this as like camping. Mm -hmm. I'm camping right now. And I know everyone hates my site because I've got so much shit outside, but I had to empty out a storage unit I couldn't pay for anymore. Uh, this is probably the easiest place to live if you're homeless mm -hmm. um, because they there's three churches in the area that come by um, the church that I'm uh, uh, That I go to four days a week uh, It comes right up here sets up right next to my um, spot And so I've gotten really close to them and that's why uh, when I decided to get married to this guy that I met here in Echo Park I was like this is a church that I want to marry me. I've never been married. He's never been married. So this is new okay. And it took me 52 years to find love. I didn't know I'd find it when I was homeless. Where are you getting married? Right here. Right, right here. here. Right okay. here. And we're hoping to have like people everybody from Echo Park come that day. I'm I have a lady making up a sign for me that does artwork and she's gonna you know make it an announcement uh, with the with boards around the park saying, you know, everybody who's there can anybody who's got in the park can come. There'll be food and gotcha. drinks and it'll be it'll be a good time, I hope. Alright. So March twentieth um, is my day. <laughs> Having a place to live, an apartment. Okay. Having you know, getting back to to normal life. That would make my life easier. But for now, batteries. <laughs> gotcha. You know, things like, you know, just necessities of life when you're camping. So if you think of anything like when you're camping, that's the things that I need, you know, that kind of thing. Because when it rains, we get wet. Yeah. We don't have electricity here, so we have to use everything on batteries, flashlights, uh, you know, cooking utensils. Uh, I need propane, you know, not propane, I mean, uh, the butane that goes on the, the little grill that I have. I also need charcoal, which is expensive, and my food stamps will cover that. That's the only thing I get right now is food stamps. I get no money from anything else. So that's not a lot of money. Um, I noticed some signs saying that uh, after the park closes, things right. are- Right, there's no camping. Right, during COVID, they've allowed people to camp here. Although they're gonna start 
they're, they're starting to come in and tell us that we have until March 17th on St. Patty's Day, which is a Thursday, to get out of the park. To just get up and leave and just go on your way, I guess is what they would like us to do. Um, unfortunately for all of us and many kids and families in this park, there is no other place. There is no, there's no other uh, centers right now open that haven't been filled up by the COVID. Who's, uh, who's told you March 17th? Uh, one of the guys that has like in a gang here okay. uh, told me it was March 17th and the cops said the same thing. They gotcha. basically said, you have until, you know, you better hurry up and pack your shit, basically. All right. And good luck on your way out, wherever you're going. We don't give a shit, just get out of our park, basically. But they know, and we've been told uh, with uh, newspaper clippings, not newspaper, but um, uh, made up flyer, by the people that run uh, this thing down here, the charge bones, that they're basically just trying to push us out of the park with a hush-hush, don't tell anybody kind of way, because I guess there's some congressmen or people in City Hall that don't want the public to know because the public would be with us, not with them. Mm -hmm. But they think, I don't know. But there are a lot of guys that come in here and film me or people and say, oh, get off your ass and get a job. Guess what? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah. I, I understand th th their small thinking, okay? I understand their small thinking, but they don't, it's like anything else in life. You don't know what you would do until you're in that situation. And you don't know the situation where people's problems can get, you know, it's gonna give a red tape you have doing some kind of project and then you get stuck. It's the same thing in life, you know? I never thought I'd be a homeless person. I've always helped out homeless giving people money if I thought they were truly in need. Now I'm that person. Yeah. So, <laughs> when um, life goes around, I had the Cartier watches and stuff in Vegas. It doesn't matter. That doesn't bring you happiness. Only true happiness comes from being a good person. Valerie, is there anything else you wanted to say? Just that I hope this pandemic ends and I hope we all get back to normal and stop judging each other so much. And I hope Echo Park and it's gonna live in my heart forever because I'm gonna write a book about it. Awesome. Thank That's you, it. Valerie. Yep. I'll see you on the 20th. Yep.